Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some vines a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I've got a little jeweler's file, and we're just going to kind of come in and relieve the walls of that just a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Let's bring you around to the All right, let's, uh, let, we're just going to bring, come in with a little, small little flat file, find our, our flat, and then just kind of work that edge just a little bit. I mean, really, there's probably a few burrs in here, too. And we'll do the other side. Let's give that a try. Still got a bind going. We're going to come in with a pen. And we're going to mark the, uh, the sides of the key just to see where the bind is happening. Yep, right up on top. All right, so uh, we've come in with a nice square file. I'd rather it not be tapered at the end, but I don't have one that isn't tapered, so you use what you got, right? We just kind of get it to even up with that hole. And this one's got a little rougher uh, surface to it, so I think it'll file a little bit better. Okay, well, it's taken about 45 minutes of to just carefully filing and checking, and, and finally it's, 
it's bottoming out. So we're on, we're solid. All I need to do is come in and put a couple of uh, uh, keepers here, uh, you know, uh, yeah, keepers, uh, just so it binds down on it just a little bit. And then we're going to put our other side on and that fits pretty good. We want to cut a key for it and the key fits nice and tight. So we're going to cut, a, oh, I'd say probably right about there. And we'll take it over to the saw and cut. Okay, our second key, which is going to go right there. Let me get rid of that. Slide that in. And it wants to fit nice and tight. I think that's sliding on pretty good and we're just about even with the uh, with the hub itself so I'm thinking that's gonna be just fine all right so we got both keys on we got them bottomed out I'm gonna snug this one down just because yeah there Okay, it's good. All right, where's our pump? Well, Nick Collier here, and uh, we've got this plate it, <clears throat> tacked in, as, as you saw yesterday. Um, I think, and I've been thinking about it all night, so, uh, you know, i got lots of thinking in on it. I think what I'm going to do is come in, and we're just going to put a small bead right across the bottom of this, maybe just one inch or so, just enough to lock everything in place, but not enough to get it heated up and warp it and then come in and put a little one inch bead here and a one inch bead here and that'll get us pretty much locked into place and then I'm gonna take it apart flip it over and put a couple of two or three bolts in the back just to kind of you know give us that little extra security so and uh, we're set here 
I think we're going to be okay. It's hard to know for sure. So let's bring the welder back over and uh, maybe we might just heat this up just a little bit just because it's so cold in here. Now the next thing we did was, uh, you know, and I decided I wanted an absolutely flat bottom here. So uh, the only way to do it, I couldn't put a bolt and a nut in there. So I had to drill the plate and thread it and then run a, a, a stud. And I used a, a, some short pieces of all thread, uh, run an all thread in there and, and Loctite it and then come in with the, with the nuts on top of that. To get this locked in. Okay, so I think we're back to where uh, we're going to take off again. And uh, hey, let's have some fun. Okay, here's what we're working with. When I welded. Uh, this plate onto the uh, base plate somehow it got tweaked just a little bit and so uh, as far as square up with the shaft here uh, it's maybe a degree or two out just a few thousands but with that uh, if it's that far out uh, the Lovejoy connection will it'll just chew it up and so we've got to bring this in a little bit closer and I, you know, I swear when I welded that thing, I was, I was bummed and uh, I didn't touch it for a week or two. I just kept looking at it and looking at it. And all of a sudden one day I went, oh, okay, here's the answer. And that's pretty much what I was waiting for is the answer. And, you know, since this is a project for myself and there's no time frame issues or anything like that, I can just let it sit until it, until the answer emerges. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the mill here. We're going to square this thing up to the shaft and then remill this front surface here. So, uh, and we pretty much got it set up. I'm going to bring you in a little closer and then I'll show you okay, how. Okay, so we know the shaft is square. And so I put a couple of V-blocks, one on each side, and I put a, uh, a just a parallel uh, out here. So I have something to, to square up. Uh, to square it up this way uh, with and and clamped it together and all of that and I had a hard time uh, getting this to stabilize this way so I just came in with a, a little clamp we're not going to put a whole lot of pressure on this I mean it's just going to be a uh, uh, indicator and uh, then came in with uh, where is the well someplace Came in with a parallel. Huh. I don't know what happened to it. But anyhow, I came in with a parallel and set it up so that this is perpendicular to the table. Um, so we're going to set up a dial indicator. And I think we can just do one right here on the, uh, on the uh, quill. Yep, it looks like we can. So we'll just take this in. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to move you, so uh, hang in there. All right, so now we're just going to roll back and forth and see how far out we are. And so far, we're looking like about... What do we got? Maybe eight thousandths out 
in a uh, in a four inch pattern so coming back uh, we're sitting too high here all right let me bring the quill down there we go now and put some glasses on so I can actually see let's bring it over to zero 151050 And since it's so cold in here, these indicators are moving a little sluggishly. But I can adjust. There it goes. So we're sitting at just a little bit above zero. <laughs> And of course, we want to adjust it again. Well, I don't know. There's five. Okay, we'll leave it on five. Now, we want to bring it halfway in. And uh, everything's there, but it's not tight. So I think I can just kind of tap. Well, yeah, I can tap, but I just tap too much. But let's give it a try and see. Okay. The fact that it's not moving concerns me. So let's set it up on 10. Okay. So we're about five out still. Let's tap it a little bit more. Come back. Okay, we're about two out now. So I'd say we're pretty close. At least close enough for government work. All right, so we're going to uh, put our 90 degree head in and, uh, uh, and it just slides onto the quill that tighten it up and then what we need to do is come in and square up our uh, our head to make sure that the the bits gonna be totally square to that surface so we come in with another uh, indicator against and take it all the way over now the fact that it's not moving is telling me there's something going on here and I see it there we go okay now run it to zero And back and forth. We got just a little bit of slop in that. And which way is square? 
Not that way, that's for sure. There it is. Okay, so we'll snug that down. <clears throat> Bring our table down. And I can already see there's a problem. And that problem is this is going to get in the way. But we can switch them as we go across once we get down to there. It's like we just have to get down to about right there. So there's not a whole lot in the way, but there's a little bit. So let's uh, crank it up. And uh, Okay, for some reason we're spinning free. We must have dropped the... Uh, all right, well, we'll be back. We must have dropped the key. Uh, the key. All right, so we started making our cut, and uh, I think we've got, we've got just enough room to travel. Uh, and it turns out that this side is uh, heavier than the other side, or a heavier cut. You can kind of start to see it uh, make a bunch of noise for one. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot I need to support this back side here. So, I'm going to measure that. Yeah, it's dancing all over the place. But that's okay, we can come back in later and clean it up. I'm gonna let it finish this cut, and then we're gonna put a support between here and the motor. Whoa, hang on. That's as far as we get, right there. Okay, let's back it up. Okay, it started doing some kind of dance right in here. I don't understand, but uh, maybe things aren't tight enough or something's happening. Well, that wasn't tight enough. That's tight enough now. Okay, we're going to get a support for the back of this. And uh, I think we need to measure that, see what we got. See if we can find something. What do we got? Two inches, 600, 570. So I'll be back. Okay, so we've got it supported with, of all things, a wood clamp, which had to go all the way to the back of the motor. But it's good and solid now, and I think it's going to hold up pretty well. So we're going to just take this right on out. And it looks like it's cutting just fine.
All right, so here's what I'm seeing is it's starting to skip right here. So I'm guessing by the time we get down to here, it's going to really be skipping. So I think what I'm going to do is take this bit down to the bottom, as far, close to the bottom as possible, and I think we're going to hit this, this bolt. I'm wondering. Well, we'll just take it down as far as possible. Maybe I could come in with a little shorter um, tower. Let's see what we can do with that. And that's going to be too short. That'll work with a little help. Okay, so we got ourselves a uh, very low profile uh, clamp in here and now we'll be able to drop this thing down as much as we can drop it down let's see what we can do here uh, so I need to back it up and then just keep coming down And of course, get a new battery in the meantime. I'd say that's just about it. Yeah, that's how far away we are. We're at zero right now, so we're going to come in. Well, that's not too bad. 7,000, so let's come in 10 just to be sure.
Okay, so we've, we've machined it all the way down to this edge right here, but I think we're going to be okay because the bolt pattern goes to there. Let's see where it goes. Right to there. And, well, no, we do go below, but I can, at this point, it looks like it goes about down like this. I think I can just come in with a die grinder and grind that out because there's not, not going to be any pressure on that. It isn't like we have a bolt hole there or anything like that. So I'll just kind of grind it out and kind of back the metal away so that there's nothing to push against. And, uh, and I think we'll have it.